Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for the 7 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the column design. In this lecture, I want to solve one numerical problem related to the column design. So the problem states that check the design capacity of given column and also find the factor of safety. So this is a column given to us with a factor load of 300, 300 kips load acting on this column. And you can see here this column is easily loaded, uni easily loaded column. So the load is acting at the center of this column and the cross section detail of this column is that it is 15 inches into 15 inches which means it's a square column and the number 8 bar is used. This number 8 bar is used and there are 8 numbers. You see here all over the cross section there are 8 bars and they are number 8. And the concrete strength is 3 KSI and the 60 grade of steel is used in this column. So we have to check the design capacity of this column. Whether the capacity of this column is greater than the upcoming load or not. And also to find the factor of safety that how much this column is safe according to the given load which is affected load on this column. So our first step is to check the design capacity of this column. So the formula for the design capacity of the RCC column according to the ACI codes, American Concrete Institute 318. So I will use this code. So the design capacity of the formula is based on this code. So the capacity of the column can be found out by this formula. 5 pn is equal to 5 alpha 0.85 fc dash eg minus ast plus fy into ast so i will explain this formula in detail this formula is used to find out the design capacity of the reinforced concrete column so this 5 pn which is the design capacity of this column it should be greater than the demand coming on the column so then our column will be safe so i can write here safe column Otherwise, if this 5 pn is less than the PU, so column will fail. Column will fail directly because the load is greater than the capacity of the column. So now to explain this formula, this is formula is according to the ACI 318. So this 5 is used here is a value of 0.65. And this is for the tie column. If you use the tie column, while for the spiral column, it is different from the 0.65. You see here, the tie is used here in this column. While if a ring, circular ring is used, then we have to take the different value of phi according to the code. So in case of the tie column, we have to use the 0.65. Now alpha, the alpha is a strength reduction factor and we take it as 0.80. So the other is constant 0.85 if C dash is given to us which is 3 case high concrete strength. The AG, AG means the area of the cross section, the overall cross section area, AG. So we can find out the AG here. This concrete column is 15 inches cross, 15 inches. So this comes out to be 225 inches square. So this is the area of this column. EST. EST means the area of the steel used in this RC column. So we can also find the EST. First of all, I want to find the area of the one bar. There are eight number of bars. The one area of number eight bar is 0.79 inches square. So this is the area of number one eight bar. If we use one bar, but if we are here we are using 8 bars so they, these are 8 in numbers and number 8 bars so I will multiply this 0.79 with 8 I got here 6.32 inches square so this is the area of the steel bar here used the area of first you have to find the area of one bar and then you can multiply with how many numbers of bars. There are 8 bars. So multiplying with 8, we can find the total area of the steel bar used in this column. So we, we have AG, we also have AST. 
v alpha of f y is the grade of the steel used here is 60 and v alpha of a is t which I found out to be 6.32 so just plugging all these value and finding out the capacity of this RC column so 5 pn so putting all these value here phi is 0.65 and then alpha is 0 0.80 and then bracket and then 0 0.85 fc is 3 eg is here 225 minus 6.32 which is ast and then again adding with 16 you see here 16 multiplying with the AST which is 6.32 bracket close so by solving this whole big equation we get the final value of 5 pn comes out to be 487.15 kip so this is the 5 pn which is the design capacity of this reinforced concrete column you see here that the 5 pn which is 487 is greater than the 300 so I can write it here that this that this criteria that this load design capacity of this column is fall in this category so the column will be safe now the 5 pn is greater than the PU so column is safe it will not fail and it will take this load but we have to find also that what is the factor of safety of this column so for the factor of safety we can write the simple formula the capacity the capacity of the column dividing by the demand of the column demand on the column so what is the capacity of this column we found out that it is 487.15 and what is the demand coming on this column it, it is 300 caps the 300 load is coming on this column so we found out that the capacity dividing these two value we found out that the factor of safety comes out to be 1.62 so so our column is safe because it is greater than the one if the factor of safety for the structure member is greater than the one then the structure is safe but it is equal or less than the one then we must have to increase the capacity of the reinforced column by increasing the cross section area of the column or by providing the more numbers of the steel bar in the column or by increasing the concrete strength so in this way we can increase the capacity of the column but here our, our factor of safety is already greater than the one so we don't need to increase the dimension or increasing the number of bars so our column is safe our column can safely take the load of 300 caps so I hope that you guys understand that how did that how to check and find out the design capacity of the reinforced concrete column. But this formula and these all reduction factors are according to the American Concrete Institute codes. If you are using different codes, then these then these values may change because different codes provided different values. So if you are using ACI codes, you can use this formula and you can find out the design capacity of the concrete column. And you can also find the factor of safety by dividing the capacity or the demand and you can find out that how much your column is safe our column is 1.62 times safer than the upcoming demand coming on this column for daily civil engineering videos don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you for watching our video